Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take another look at the convex mirror. Here we're going to place the object at a distance of 30 centimeters, which is the same distance as the distance from the mirror to the halfway point between the focal point and the center of curvature on the other side of the mirror. So this is a 30 centimeter distance. We'll start with 30 centimeters and then we move the object to the distance of 20 centimeters in front of the mirror, which is the same distance as from the mirror to the focal point, which is behind the mirror. Convex lenses have focal points and center of curvatures behind the mirror. The observer will be on this side in front of the mirror. And let's see what the ray diagrams will tell us. First, again, we draw the first ray from the top of the object to the mirror, it'll reflect back as if it came from the focal point behind here. Notice with convex mirrors, this ray will always be the same thing since the object can be placed at any distance in front of the mirror. The, the ray parallel to the optical axis will always strike the mirror at the same location and repel in the same direction. So that ray is always the same for any object of the same height placed in front of the mirror. The second ray is always different. It will be drawn from the top of the object to the focal point behind the mirror. Before we get there, there we go, like this. But before we get to the focal point, the ray will be reflected back parallel to the optical axis. Again, the observer on this side sees those two rays emanating from the mirror, and the brain will perceive them from coming from this direction. Where the two meet, that's where the image will be placed. To find out the exact location of the image, we use the equation S prime is equal to S, in this case, which is 30 centimeters, times the focal length of a minus 20 divided by 30 minus a minus 20, which is equal to minus 600 divided by a positive 50, which is minus 12 centimeters. That means that the image is 12 centimeters away from the mirror and of course behind the mirror that's indicated by this minus sign here this minus means it's behind the mirror therefore it's a virtual image the magnification is equal to minus s prime over s which is a minus times a minus 12 over 30 which is equal to 2 over 5 which means that the image size is two-fifths the size of the original object Positive magnification means that the image is upright. So what happens when we continue to bring the object closer? Now we're going to bring the object to a distance of 20 centimeters in front of the mirror, which is the same distance as the distance from the mirror to the focal point behind it. The first ray, again, will be exactly the same as before, parallel to the optical axis. It will reflect back as if it came from the focal point in this direction. The second ray will be drawn from the tip of the object to the focal point. Now notice since its distance is exactly the same on both sides of the mirror, this ray will strike the, the mirror at the halfway point between this point right here and the point where this ray strikes the mirror. Like this. And, whoop, not quite that steep, a little bit less steep, like this. And normally, if the mirror wasn't there, the ray would continue to the focal point. But since the mirror is in the way, the ray will be reflected parallel to the optical axis. The observer here sees the two rays coming from the mirror, projects backward where they must be coming from, and puts the image right over here. Notice it looks now that it's right halfway between the mirror and the focal point. Let's see if that hunch is correct. S prime equals SF over s minus f. So in this case, s is 20 times a minus 20 for the focal length divided by 20 minus a minus 20, which is equal to a minus 400 divided by a positive 40, which is a minus 10 centimeters. Sure enough, it's right halfway between the mirror and the focal point. s prime is equal to a minus 10 centimeters, which is this distance right here places it right halfway in between, which means that when the object is placed right at the point, which is 20 centimeters away from the mirror, the same distance as the focal length from the mirror to the focal point behind the mirror, then the image will appear right halfway between the mirror and the focal point behind the mirror. Again, since it's behind, it's a virtual image. Now for the magnification, 
the magnification equals minus s prime over s minus a minus 10 over s which is 20 which is a positive one half also the magnification is half the size of the original object and since it's positive we know that the image is upright so the image is right here halfway between the mirror and the focal point behind the mirror making it a virtual image so in the next video we're going to see what happens as we bring the object closer and closer and closer to the mirror so stay tuned and see what happens next